Hello guys, we have a question here that says two coherent sources of sound S1 and S2 produce sound waves of same wavelength. Okay, we have two coherent courses of sounds S1 and S2 that produce a sound of same wavelength. And we get lambda equals to 1 meter. Okay, in phase S1 and S2 are placed 1.5 meter apart as of you can see in this figure. We have 1.5 meter apart S1 and S2. A listener located at L, this is our listener. Okay, directly in front of S2, find this, find that the in intensity is at minimum when he is 2 km away from the S2. If the listener is 2 km away from the S2, sorry, 2 meter away from the S2, so he finds that the intensity is minimum, okay, at that point. So, the listener moves away from S2, keeping his distance from S2 fixed. He moves away from S2, so uh, S1, sorry, S1, he moves away from S1, uh, so, uh, and uh, at the same time, he mm, takes our, sorry, he keeps our distance, his distance with S2 fixed. So, the adjacent maximum of intensity, the adjacent maximum of intensity is observed when the listener is at distance D from S1, okay? So, we have to find the what the D is. So, let's move on to the solution. For minimum at L, we have this figure made, okay, S1, S2, from the graph, we just uh, like meet the points with each other, we get a parallelogram, okay, so for minimum at L, we get S1, L minus S2, L equals to delta X equals to lambda by 2, 2N plus 1, and that is N equals to 0 and 12, okay, so to S1, L, S1 L and S2 L's value is 2.5 sorry 2 multiplied by 5 minus 2 equals to 1 by 2 2 n plus 1 so 2.5 into 2 equals to 0 0.5 into 2 equals to 2 n plus 1 2 n equals to 0 n equals to 0 first minima we get our first minima okay the addition maximum is the first nine first maximum so at p point first maximum P point, P point is our first maximum. S1 P minus S2 P equals to lambda and equals to 1 for first maxima. S1 P minus 2 equals to 1. Uh, then we get S1 P equals to 1 plus 2. And D is, D is 3 meter. 